A jury in Connecticut has reached a multi-million dollar verdict in the defamation trial of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Jones falsely claimed the families of the Sandy Hook mass shooting in 2012 were actors who faked the tragedy. The CBC's Sarah Galashin is tracking that story. She joins me now live. So, Sarah, take us through the latest. Well, Andrew, this jury in Connecticut, Waterbury, Connecticut, which is about a half an hour away from Newtown, Connecticut, where this massacre happened, uh, they have ruled that conspiracy theorist Alex Jones must pay $965 million to people who suffer from the lies that he spread about the Sandy Hook uh, Elementary School massacre. He has uh, called it a hoax, uh, insisting on his InfoWars podcast and on social media that the 20 children and uh, six adults who were killed at Sandy Hook, uh, in fact, didn't die, and that their parents, he said, were actors who were hired and working with the Democrats to try and drum up support for gun control legislation and get it passed. Um, this ruling is the second significant one against Alex Jones, uh, who was ordered by a Texas court to pay the parents of uh, a single slain child um, uh, back in August $50 million. Um, this one in Connecticut, this lawsuit was filed by a number of relatives relatives, relatives of, of five of the children who were killed and three educators, along with an FBI agent who was among uh, the first responders who were on the scene back in 2012. This court heard from parents and siblings, among others, about the the torment and threats that they have endured over the years uh, coming from followers and fans of Alex Jones who believed what he was saying. For his part in court, Jones said that he was wrong. Uh, that uh, he admitted, uh, as he did back in August in court, that, uh, that what happened at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012 was real and that uh, the people who were murdered there were killed. These parents uh, who were grieving that their loss was very real. But he did in court, this Connecticut court refused to apologize, saying that he had done so many times. Now, both courts in Texas and in, in Connecticut have found that his company, Free Speech uh, Systems, they found the company liable for damages and have ordered uh, him to pay. It is a little unclear as to whether he can afford to, what his abilities to pay are. Free Sp Speech uh, Media has filed for bankruptcy. They did so last summer. Um, in Texas, when in court, he said that he couldn't afford to pay more than $2 million uh, in total as a result. He incidentally will be back in a Texas court by the end of the year facing uh, yet another lawsuit brought by uh, the parents of uh, yet another one of the children who were murdered uh, in 2012 at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Andrew? Sarah, thank you. The CBC's Sarah Galashin.